Right. Hello and welcome to this wood carving knife overview video. Today we're going to be looking at the Deep Holler Knives DHK range of wood carving and whittling knives. And these have really uh, taken off in, in popularity and interest recently and for good reason. They're an excellent uh, set of knives that um, will meet a variety of, of carving needs. So let's jump into it. First thing I want to talk about is the blades on these knives. So what you'll note is that there's a, a similar blade shape on, on most of these. This is a one and a quarter inch, one and three quarter, one and a half, and even a, a two inch blade. All following a pretty, pretty similar um, pattern, structure, dimensions, just just longer in length. Uh, they're all pretty thin, uh, which is great. Uh, they slice through that wood nice and easily. Um, what you'll notice on each of them also is this little sharpening choil down here that makes it easy to, to carve them, and they're all uh, flat ground, which means that um, if you look at the um, shape of the blade, probably won't quite uh, go in, but it's going to be a, a straight angle from here to there, just a single bevel, no secondary be bevel, completely flat grind, which makes them very easy to strop and keep sharp. And I will say that I've used some of these for months and I have not had to do anything other than strop them and they're just as sharp as the day they came. Uh, they stay sharp and they hold an edge extremely well. Uh, some variations on the knife shapes. Uh, this one on the left is the kind of regular one and a half inch, and this one on the right is a one and a half called a talon blade. And the difference you can see there is this angled cutoff here and a cutoff at the tip. Uh, so this one really excellent for finer detail work and uh, can get that little tip in, in there. Both of these really are excellent uh, detail knives, but you can see that one on the right, even a sharper little tip uh, to really get in there. Another slight variation here, this is a um, two inch blade that I got directly uh, off of their Facebook uh, site. And this one is a little bit wider than the other one. So this one uh, comes in at about three eighths of an inch wide uh, and two inches long. It's just a little bit wider as well, but still comes to a good point. Excellent knife for, for roughing. And um, I will say that narrower uh, blade width is really a, a hallmark of these knives. So about five sixteenths of an inch wide. So when I first saw these blades, I thought, you know, they looked uh, reminiscent to me of some OCC blades. So this is a one and a half inch OCC blade as a comparison here. And so we've got the deep holler knife on the left, the OCC one on the right. Um, you can just see the difference is the width right the width of the the blade there on the right the shape is 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 kind of similar otherwise um but that that narrower blade shape really helps these to slice easily easily through the wood and um interestingly enough the comparison that i would make um probably more with that this this talon knife um blade is actually performs very uh, similarly to me as this uh, Drake one and a half inch detail blade. You can see the shapes are a little bit different, but they actually perform fairly similarly. I would say the Drake one has a little bit more flex. The deep holler knives tend to have a little bit of flex, especially on the, the smaller ones, but not a severe amount of flex. And I'm not somebody who likes a huge amount of flex in my blade. Uh, uh, these are pretty firm, but they do have a little bit of flex, especially on the the smaller blade shapes. So next, let's take a look at the handles. The handles on these knives are absolutely beautiful and probably the eye-catching thing that uh, you first notice about them when you uh, when you see them. And as you can see, they come in different types of wood, uh, different pieces from the wood. Um, I absolutely love the integrated um, uh, knots on some of these. Some of these I purchased just to get that knot and interesting grain. Absolutely beautiful. Um, 
they look good uh and they're that might look like it's got a lot of texture on it. It's, 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 it's actually extremely smooth. I wouldn't say slippery, but definitely smooth. Uh, it's not going to just slip out of your hand, but uh, it is a, a, a very smooth, lightweight knife. Now, um, these, I think, are pretty uh, similarly shaped. There's some slight variations, but are kind of more the standard standard handle shape and one thing I would note about them is that um, they can be fairly large uh, and I don't have a tiny hand I also don't have a huge hand but they feel really good in my hand I don't like a handle that's too narrow um, these are about uh, three quarters of an inch wide and uh, they just feel really really good in the hand even the standard ones now there's all sorts of other shapes that that I haven't tried that you that you can find um, on their website or on some of the other retailers. Um, this one is, I believe, a smaller version of the double D shape. Um, so you can see that indentation there, and then it's also got that um, that there, which um, I wasn't sure if I would like that, but actually my finger kind of fits right into that groove, and it fits really well in there. That standard shape, I think that um, sloped down to the knife works well for putting my my thumb there when I'm roughing and it's easy to get my other thumb um, on it uh, when I'm doing harder cuts. Uh, this one on the right is a different uh, kind of handle. It's called a V-handle. Um, kind of unique that I got uh, directly ordered from them and this this little pinch here I think is uh, a really awesome design. My thumb and finger fit right inside of it there, really great for, for pushing. And then this kind of swoop on the back actually fits right into my palm uh, pretty nicely. It's a, a kind of ingenious and really fun looking uh, design of a knife as well. So last uh, or next, I want to take a look at any extras that um, come with this knife or any extra features with these. Um, they don't come with a sheath. Uh, they come generally with a with a piece of foam kind of popped over the cover. Um, I have tended to use these cheap um, sheaths. You can get these at a couple of wood carving shops. Uh, it's really just a piece of leather over a piece of um, foam, and I find that they work really well for that. If you're looking for a sheath, um, I would just note some of these handles are, are a little bit thick, and uh, a couple of my sheaths don't don't fit on them, but I've I've enjoyed these other sheaths for them. But really, the the extra kind of cool um, thing about these knives is that they um, have all of these unique handles. Truly, every one that you get is going to be absolutely unique, uh, which is just a lot of fun, and uh, and they work really well too. So the last thing I want to do is just do a quick demo. Um, with a couple of these knives. So let me just start with this one and a half inch um, and do some general push cuts on here. Um, you can see it really slides right through. These knives have stayed really sharp for me. Just really clean, shiny facets. Um, stop cuts work extremely well. Thin blade will make a nice clean stop cut. And that'll work really easily for you too. Uh, do that kind of thing uh, and they're strong enough to make these really deeper kind of uh, cross cuts when you're getting really more across the grain. Of course your um, thicker blades might work a little bit better for that uh, but they can really come in here and go right across take out you know huge huge chunks of wood if you need them to uh, without a whole lot of pressure or challenge. So that's it. Uh, those are the deep holler knives. Uh, they're, they're great, great knives uh, may very well meet your needs. And I hope you've enjoyed the videos. And if you get a chance to use them, definitely give them a try.